these sweet potatoes here, just roasting them off. I'm happy with that, they're done. What we're gonna work on next is the grass-fed beef and garden vegetable ragu with spaghetti squash. So take a look here. I got two spaghetti squash. They've been in there for about, um, I don't know, probably close to 45 minutes. And I just poke holes in the top. The spaghetti squash is like a little mini pressure cooker. If you don't put these holes in there to give the steam a little bit of exit strategy, if you will, then this whole thing can just blow up. And I've seen pictures of that happen. So a couple holes on top. I don't cut them in half, I just leave them whole. It'll just kind of steam everything. Use the skin as a shell. And then you'll see at the end, we'll cut them in half and be able to just scoop them right out. So straightforward, get that going. Here's our squash. Let's check it. I'm going to pull this out and just kind of show you guys uh, when I look, when I see that, see that? I can touch it, I can squeeze it, it compresses. Now, check this out. You got to be really careful at this point. But these are like time bombs. You see the air shooting out of there? Watch this. This is how I do it. Uh, there's plenty of other ways. You can cut them in half, season them on the inside, roast them, uh, cut open center side up or down, however you want to do it. Hands off approach, super easy, and uh, same end result. Cut this stem off. Right in the middle. Kind of nice, very simple. Let's just let's plate this. Some tongs. Because we left our ragu hearty, chunky. Maybe we should be able to stand that up in the center. Good color, nice bright yellow on the bottom. Clean that up. And this would be a good place for uh, some aged balsamic. I'll be here shortly, Amazon.com. But here's what we're gonna do, heaven forbid, some Parmesan Reggiano, all right? <clears throat> there it is. Grass-fed beef and garden veggie ragu over spaghetti squash. It's the optional Parmesan Reggiano.